Hi, happy sunshine family. In my last video I showed you this page here that it says death results up here in the URL. That's what I'm searching for, death records. And it appears there are death records and estate records and genealogy records for Parker H. Still that's known to Mississippi around the Batesville area and also Knoxville, Tennessee. I was on the phone tonight with a member of the lunacy family here and they've got a contact that is a research paralegal and they were going through a site similar to public records check but it's called search quarry and they found what appear to be death records for Parker still in that site as well when they signed up for an account and requested the death records uh, they initially got something and I was talking on the phone with this person and kind of interrupted the process of what they were doing when I called. And after the phone call, they went back to this website and they were unable to get the report that they had just requested. So I got an email here that says, you're not going to believe this. It just blocked me or it just disappeared. The report was listed and you can put it in the original vital records or deceased and get it, but that's as much as you can get. No date, nothing. So this is getting confusing here. Um, also, I got another email that said, try through this public records check site put in some of the other names associated with this case. Heather Tucci Giraffe, Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. It looks like there may be a death record for Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. Look up in the URL. This is still searching for death results. I searched for Randall Bean and it's still searching. I started this search about a half hour ago. Once, once it finds something, this screen here with this little progress indicator going back and forth disappears and you get a page that either looks like this or like this or like this. It happens pretty quickly. I type my own name in there just as a control and it does the same thing as Randall Bean's search request. It, it never finds anything. So... I'm wondering why I've got a death record for Judy Jandora or or why is it that publicrecordscheck.com is showing that there are death records for Judy Jandora who is the lady that was featured in the video outside of the courthouse right here. This woman right here is purportedly Judy Jandora. And I'm wondering, how is that possible that there's death records for her if that's her in the video? There's another interesting obituary in Mississippi obituaries, so msobits.tributes.com, searching for the last name of Still. And I was searching for Parker Still, but a bunch of things came up. Um, I couldn't find Parker Still in here, but this is interesting. Cheryl Wright Still. She's born in the same year as Parker Still, 1978. This is a February 5th birthday. Parker Stills is August 9th. Look at her date of death, September 1st, 2017. That's within a week. Cheryl was born on February 5th, 1978 and passed away on Friday, September 1st, 2017. Cheryl was a resident of Mississippi at the time of passing. She attended Biloxi Public Schools and lived her life in Biloxi. A memorial service to honor the life of Cheryl will be held 12.30 p.m. Saturday, September 9th, so in a couple days, at Fernwood Baptist Church. 2307 East Pass Road in Gulfport. 
She was born in the same year as Parker Still. She has the same last name as Parker Still. Unless it unless Parker spells his last name with an E in there. And she died six days ago. That's a that's a puzzling observation. I wonder if she's related to Parker. Another thing I found, somebody clued me in that the Batesville local newspaper is the Pinolian. So I searched the Pinolian online records for Parker Still and an article pops up dated November 1st of 2011 or 11 1 11. Here we go with some interesting gematria again. Trial date moved to January for trio and hospital fraud case. And we come down about halfway through this article. Attorney Parker Still of Batesville and attorney William Travis of South Haven are representing Corcoran. Co-defendants Ray Shoemaker and Lee Garner were indicted earlier this year, accused by the federal government of colluding in a kickback scheme with former county administrator David Chandler. So, I'm not sure how this information fits, but uh, the family member who's working on a timeline, we've got him as a private attorney in Batesville, Mississippi, November 1st of 2011. So, if you've got any record search experience, if you've got any accounts with these different record sites or genealogy sites and you can pull up what documents may be behind these death records for Judy Jandora, for Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe, and for Parker H. Still, that would be very helpful. I would be very interested to see those. Please email them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. That's P-R-O-T-O-N-M-A-I-L.com. This is just taking a turn right into the twilight zone, guys. I love you a lot. Keep the love, light, and links coming. And I'll be back soon with more info. We're just not sure what it's going to be. But everything so far is pretty interesting. Alright, good night guys.